Hi guys, Adith here and thanks for joining. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to create bar plots with the help of our Seaborn package. Seaborn is a really cool package that is built on the top of our matplotlib. And because of that, we can create lot cooler plots compared to our matplotlib with the help of our Seaborn package. And today we are going to mainly focus on creating bar plots. Bar plots are the basic plots that we learn while we study statistics. Bar plots helps us to find the relationship between the numerical variable and the categorical variable. And today in this video we are going to look at all the four different bar plots that we can create with the help of our Seaborn package. They are the vertical bar charts, the horizontal bar charts, the bar charts that helps us when we compare to categories and finally the stacked bar charts. And now let's jump into our Jupyter Notebook and let's get started. Now let's rename this Jupyter Notebook into bar plots and now let's import all the necessary packages. I need our Seaborn, so Seaborn as sns and i also require numpy as np and i do require matplotlib to plot the legends as plt and i also require matplotlib's patches module so import matplotlib dot patches and I will import it with the alias mp and now let's run this out and here we got all our packages we all know that Seaborn has lot of inbuilt data frames and we are going to load one of them that is named as the tips so let's take a variable df and I will call my Seaborn and I will use the date function named the load data set and in which I am going to call the tips data frame and now let's look at the first 5 rows of our data and here they are it has a total of 7 columns and in which the first column represents for the total bill paid by a particular customer and the second column is for the tip he gave and the third column is for the sex whether he is a male or a female and the fourth column is smoker whether he is a smoker or a not a smoker and the fifth column we have is the day it, this particular data frame contains four days namely the Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the time here is for two categories namely the dinner and lunch and we have size too so a total of how many people came to the restaurant and it ranges from the size of 2 to 6 and with this let's start creating our bar plots in order to create a bar plot we will use the function named the bar plot and firstly we will call our c1 so sns dot i will use the bar plot function bar plot i will take two columns for the x axis and for the y axis so for the x axis i will take our column day and for the y axis i will take our column tip for now and we need to pass a third parameter named the data so we are getting these two columns from my data df and so we have to pass df over here and now let's run this out and here we got our cool looking bar plot and here we have this cool black line and i will tell you what this means in the later part of this video and now let me show you how to create horizontal bar graphs so horizontal bar graphs and in order to create an horizontal bar graph, you just need to switch the variables. So sns dot bar plot, and inside which you have to take the x to be your tip now, and your y value to be the column day. And these are coming from our data df. And now when we run this, and here you got the same plot but in an horizontal form and now let's look at the colors that we have so let's name it the palette 
we have lots of colors available in our seaborn and let's look at them so let's copy this out and paste it over here and let's use our parameter named the palette and in which we have a lot of palettes and the most interesting ones are the spring and here we got them and the summer and we have deep and this is basically our deep and we have lot many other stuff too and in order to check for them i would highly recommend you to follow this step so give a wrong value over here let's say de and now here you got the value error and here it the all the values from accent to winter all all are a type of palette so now let's take a particular value let's take the flare and instead of de over here let's pass in flare and let's run this out and here we got a different color and you would have seen this underscore r inside those value error part so this means the colors will be reversed so here the colors is going from lighter to darker and when you use underscore r it would be reversed that is we are coming from darker to lighter and now let's see how to use uh, bar plots for the categorical variables so firstly we will call our seaborn as sns so sns dot bar plot i will take my x variable as the time and my y variable to be the total bill and they are all coming from my data df and now here we got it so now let's say i want to split this particular bar plot based on the categories so let's take the categorical variable sex so i will take a parameter named the hue which helps us to split this bar plot and i will pass my column sex and now here we got our bar plot for this specific category and now let's look at what this particular black line represents this black line is named as the confidence interval so a confidence interval is a statistical term it is an estimate computed from the observed data the confidence level is actually calculated before examining the data and the most commonly used value for the confidence level is 95 and by default also here these bars these lines are basically calculated based on the confidence interval of 95 and now here we have this particular plot and inside which by default the confidence interval for the plots in seaborn are calculated based on the mean and we can also calculate it based on the others too like median or the maximum value too so now let's take the parameter name the estimator and inside which i will use the median for it now so median and here you can see that the now it's estimated based on our median and also the confidence interval is now still 95 and we can change the confidence interval to 60 and now here we can see the difference and now let's say you don't want these black lines and you want it to be a simple bar plot and in this case you can just pass none for your confidence interval and now here you got your cool looking plot now lastly let's move on to the best part that is the stacked bar plots so firstly i am going to create a stacked bar plot based on the x axis to be my day the y axis to be my total bill and i will stack them based on my column sex so firstly let's take a variable name the total and inside which i will group my data frame using the group by function and i will take my column day and now i will get the total value of my total bill 
I mean the summation of my total bill column. So total bill dot sum. And if you don't understand this, do check my video on the pandas tutorial where I have explained all the concepts that are required to be understand for pandas. And also we will reset the index. So with which we got our variable total perfectly where we have our day and the total bill. And now let's erase this out and now it's the time for us to create the total bar. So I will name this as the chart one. So C1 equals SNS dot bar plot and in which I will basically create this plot. So X equals the day and my Y equals the total bill and finally my data that is coming from my total. So I will pass the total over here and I will set the color for now. So the color would be let's set it to red and firstly let's run this out and here you can see that we got the total plot over here and now we have to differentiate this based on our column 6. So let's clear the output for now and let's create a new data frame named the S for our column 6 and in which I will just take out the mail for now. So df of my data frame df and in which I will take the column 6 and in which I will just select all the values in which whose sex is equals male and now I will print the chart 2 so chart 2 where c2 equals sns dot bar plot and inside which my x would be day oops inside the double quotes day and my y would be the total bill and also this data is now coming from my data yes and I will give this color to be yellow and you might think now what this particular uh, chart C2 will look like and now let's show you let me show you and when you print this particular C2 chart out now you can see that we got this particular chart only for our mail alone and here you can also see that we have this particular confidence interval lines here too but we have to get rid of this uh, if not it will be if not our stacked bar chart will not be so attractive so in order to do that let's add the values of our confidence interval to be none and these values that we got here would be based on the mean and we don't want the mean values here rather we need the summation and so I will use the estimator parameter and I will set it to summation so np dot sum and now when we check for this particular bar plot we will get a different one so here there is no stacking as such because we have added these both the charts inside a single cell and when we run this now here we got our fully stacked bar plot already but now we are going to add some legends to it so like the red is particularly for female and the yellow is for male and in order to do that we will use our matplotlib now so add legend and let's take a variable named the top that is for the top bars and inside which we will use the matplotlib patches where we called it as mp and now 
let's say yump dot patch that that is the function what we are gonna use here and in which i will take the color and i will name it as red and wherever the color is red i will label that color to be female and i will create an another variable named the bot for bottom and mp dot patch and inside which i will take the color to be yellow and its label would be oops label male and now we are going to use the legend function from our matplotlib so legend and inside which and inside which i will use the very parameter named the handles and i will pass the variables top and bottom over here and it is legend and now let's run this out and here we got our particular legend and here is our total plot and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and today in this video we looked at how to create bar plots with the help of our seaborn package and we also looked at how to create all the four different bar charts with the help of our seaborn thanks for watching like the video leave a comment down below and let's meet in the next video